Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mad Scientist Brewing Beer Education Series. We're approaching the time of year for family gatherings that involve big meals together. And what better time to explore excellent beer pairings to go along with those seasonal foods? This video is going to take a look at some beer and food pairings you may want to consider for your holiday get-togethers to make the most out of your meal, and if nothing else, to help to deal with any inevitable family drama. Let's start with Thanksgiving, coming up here next week in the U.S. Traditional side dishes usually include stuffing and mashed potatoes, which are loaded with savory and bready flavors. Here I would suggest a nice brown ale or a dark mild. The rich malty flavors will pair well with the side dishes. Another suggestion could be saison, which has great effervescence to help scrub the richness of these sides, especially if they're covered in gravy. For the main course, we're talking turkey. My go-to has always been a nice Belgian triple which has enough heft to stand up to the fattier parts of the bird without overwhelming it, while cleansing the palate with lively carbonation. You could also go with something like a Merzen, which has bready, toasty flavors that play well with the crisp, roasted skin of the turkey, just as well as it does with the half chickens served at Oktoberfest. Moving on to dessert, there's typically some sort of pie, like pumpkin or pecan. At this point in the meal, you're probably getting ready to sit down for a while and enjoy that dessert, so why not sip on a high ABV beer like a Doppelbach or Scotch Ale? These beers have a lot of malt flavor, uh, like caramelized sugar, which matches nicely with the sweetness of the pie, while the higher alcohol content and carbonation cleanse the palate between bites. If you're looking for one beer to cover the whole meal, my vote is still on the triple, but similar styles like Saison are also great, or even a beer de garde, if you can get your hands on a bottle of that. Looking into December, there's a bit more variety of what is served as a main course, depending on family traditions. The Christmas meal often will have turkey again, but may also have a smoky glazed ham or succulent prime rib. For the ham, try a Rauch beer, which will echo the smoked flavor of the beer with the sweetness, while the sweetness of the ham helps to keep the smoke of the beer in check. A Doppelbach would also go well here, as the sweetness of the beer and the glaze go well, while the Maillard flavors of the beer will complement the meat nicely. For the prime rib, you're dealing with a very intense dish. Lots of savory flavors from the meat and the fat are involved here. So I'm thinking a nice porter would pair well by having complementary roast flavors while still having the malt body to stand up to the heavy cut of meat. An Eau de Bruin would also be a good option here. This sour Belgian brown ale has some malt flavor to complement the meat while its sourness and carbonation help to keep the richness of the beer, or excuse me, of the beef in balance. If you're celebrating Hanukkah, you're sure to be enjoying plenty of fried foods, particularly latkes. For these, a nice wit beer or vice beer would be great to match the lighter intensity of the dish, while the carbonation is great for cleansing the palate from the oil. A Czech Pilsner is also a good option here that will lean more on the bitter side and would be great to help to balance the sweetness of applesauce, which the latkes are often served with. Lastly, if you come from a French-Canadian family like me, you're likely to be enjoying a tortier or a pork pie at Christmas or New Year's. A winter seasonal beer is a great choice here, not just because it's in season, but because the spices in both the pie and the beer will complement each other nicely, while the carbonation scrubs the fat from the pie crust. A brown ale could also go well here, as you're going to be getting a mix of toasty malt and some Meyer products that would pair well with the pork and the crust holding it in. Uh, as with all beer pairing with food, uh, these are just kind of tipping the iceberg here. There's a lot of different varieties of things that you can try. These are good starting points. I suggest giving them a try, or if you can't find anything exactly like these styles, going with something similar and seeing how that turns out. Uh, remember to uh, compare similar flavors, um, considering things like uh, comparing, contrasting, and cutting, um, if you want to review those in the previous video on how to pair beer with food. Uh, otherwise, that's it for me. Um, enjoy any the start of any holiday gatherings, and hopefully things go well with your family. Um, and until next time, cheers.